Hare Krishna, Krishna Bhaktaya, Tad Bhaktaya Namurama. By the courses, Marcel Sri Guran Goranga. Now we have come to the Kansatila. It was uh, on this hill that Sri Krishna killed Kamsa Maharaj. But you know that uh, Kamsa Maharaj had invited Krishna and Balaram to participate in a wrestling match. So when Krishna and Balaram came into the wrestling arena, Krishna was carrying the tusk of Kuvala Apida on his shoulder like this. Balaram was carrying the other tusk. They had some perspiration from previously fighting with the soldiers and and uh, with Kuvalapida. They had sports of, sports of perspiration decorating their bodies. They look very beautiful, but they were not in a laughing and joking mood, they were in a very serious mood. So the ladies of Mathura said, Gopya, Gopya Stapaki Madaram, Yadamusya Rupam, Lavanya Sara Masamadva Mananya Siddham, Vibhi Pibanti Nusavabhi Naram Durapam, Ekanta Dhamma Yasasasri Aiswarasya. What austerities did the gopis perform? To see Krishna in a very jolly mood and happy mood, very relaxed in the forest of Vrindavan. Chanu and Mustik, they came to Krishna and said, uh, we know that uh, you are very powerful. So you should wrestle with us. Krishna said, we are boys, we wrestle with our friends in the forest. Chanura Muslim said, no, we know that you have killed powerful demons like Agasur, Bakasur, Yomasur. Many is smart. Yes, yes. And uh, what is now? Let's go. Very crowd is coming. Okay. Very crowd is outside. Yes, yes, yes. Coming up. Yes, coming. We have to continue outside because it's very crowded here and the rest of the group are coming. This is how we're going to get out of the room. Yeah, this is how the wrestlers fight. And they were pushing each other backwards and forwards. And the pious people this was an arena here, like the Super Bowl. <laughs> Thousands of people have come. <laughs> and they said, oh, this is an irreligious assembly. Because this is not fair, these wrestlers are as big as mountains and Krishna and Balaram are small tender boys. Oh, is, now Chanura has come. Chanura. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Here is Chanura. Chanura. Can you can you pull pull it? Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. So then they were pushing backwards and forwards and sometimes punching each other. And when Krishna and Balaram felt the punches of Chinu and Mustika, then they felt great happiness. So, Bhakti is to please Krishna. So, are Chanu and Mustik doing Bhakti or not? No. <laughs> they were pleasing Krishna, but it was not uh, Anukul. They did not have a favorable spirit. So, after some time, Krishna and Balaram, they punched Chanu and Mustik and killed them. And then, other wrestlers came. Shal, 
and Toshal and Kut. Пришли другие борцы, Шал, Тошал и Кут. And Krista... <laughs> Don't. Actually, you should not play with me. I'm black belt. <laughs> so, then the other wrestlers attack Krishna and Balaram. And uh, Krishna and Balaram also killed them. At that time, Kamsamaraj was here because. Uh, the wrestling was down and this is a high place where Kamsa Maharaj was. And Kamsa Maharaj became furious. He said, drive these two cowards out of our city. And arrest that fool Nanda Maharaj. And you could, should kill Vasudeva and Devaki. And he was giving orders like he was in charge of everything. But everything was now going out of his control. So then, then Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna jumped up. Krishna then Sri Krishna jumped up onto the dais where Kamsa Maharaj was. But uh, Kamsa Maharaj, he took a sword and a shield. But Krishna was very fast. And he slapped his head. And his crown fell off. And he dropped his sword and shield. And then Krishna took the Kamsa Maharaj by the hair. Because before he was born on the wedding day of Devaki, Kamsa Maharaj took Devaki by the hair. Prapadyante Tanskataeva Bajadam. See Krishna. He's see. coming. The Krishna Valdo coming. Please side this one. Come on this side because Krishna Balaram are coming. So then Krishna Krishna threw Kamsa Maharaj from his high dais onto the wrestling arena floor. And Kamsa Maharaj expired. So then all the brothers, the brothers of Kamsa Maharaj attacked Krishna and Balaram. And Balaram took his club and started to kill all the brothers of Kamsa Maharaj. Until everyone was dead. And then Krishna and Balaram called these coward boys and the coward boys came in the wrestling arena and they were singing and dancing with Krishna and Balaram and celebrating the victory. One coward boy said, Oh, Krishna, you can fight with Chanur, Chanur and Mustik, but let's see how you fight with me. And then the cowboy jumped on Krishna and put Krishna on the ground and he was saying, Jai, 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 Jai. Krishna can defeat Chanur and Mustik, but he cannot defeat Sri Dham. Shidam can be defeat Krishna. So then, the, when Kamsa Maharaj died, no one believed that he was dead. The crowd of people, they couldn't believe. How can Kamsa be dead? He's just knocked out. So they counted. One, two, three. They got to ten. He was still not moving. But then Krishna, he began just like when a lion, when a lion kills an elephant, then he drags the dead body of the elephant. So in the same way, see Krishna began to drag the dead body of Kamsa Maharaj to prove to everyone that he was not knocked out, he was actually dead. So right now, very soon, this pastime will appear before your eyes. You can see the wrestlers have already come. 
Уже пришли борцы. And very soon Krishna and Balaram will come. And then Kamsa Maharaj will come. Krishna и Balaram тоже придут скоро и Kamsa. And Krishna will kill him. So it's just wait. It's just about to happen just now. Просто подождите. Yes, yes. Because at the bottom of the hill is Rangeshwar Mahadev. And Rang is the wrestling arena. So he is the Lord Shiva who is the Lord of the wrestling arena. Yes, yes, it was Lord Shiva's bow. He was doing a Yagya, Dan uh, Danur Yagya. Kansa Maharaj was doing Dano Yagya, um, a sacrifice to worship Lord Shiva's bow, Rangeshwar Mahadev's bow. 